Hey, you guys. It's been a minute. You guys probably confused. I'm in the hospital. Let me put the body down in here. Okay. So yes, I am currently in the hospital right now. I look crazy. I'm just hoping I'm not gonna deliver. I get my IV in. I ain't gonna lie, this sucker hurts. Um, I don't know if because of where she puts it, it's hurting me really bad. So and I'm pretty swollen, pretty fat, but. A little update for the past two weeks I've been feeling this pain um, I told you guys that I was in pain like my back and stuff been killing me so yeah I'm scared to take off my mask so yeah <laughs> one Aiden got sick from his first week of going to school so all this week he's been at home he went to school last week got sick so he's been at home since then today's well saturday morning because it's like almost 3 a.m and today is the 4th of september because yeah i pray that no any of that um i have been in a lot of pain been suffering a lot but today or well, yesterday I called her B and told him he needed to come and bring me to the hospital because I haven't been able to either drive walk anything I'm just been stuck on the bed or stuck on the couch which really don't help because I can't really vlog just because it's like there's nothing that I'm doing that's either interesting or like fun for the vlog, so I just don't vlog. Cause my thing is my vlogs are like <laughs> I feel like boring enough. I don't want to bore you guys with the same thing, but this is a thing I wanted to document because, um, to be honest with you, they've been talking. Like I'm about to have this job today. Um, when I got here, I let them know a pit I was having. They did an ultrasound. They ran some blood work testing, and apparently, my blood works came back abnormal. So they went ahead and um, admitted me in the hospital because my numbers were low and right now they're saying there's something between my liver and something else and it just doesn't look right and stuff like that um honestly the stuff that she was saying the medical terms i can't really understand any of them so um i don't really understand everything so i'm just waiting for them um, right now I'm waiting to see a couple of specialists that's gonna go over these things with me and let me know what this is gonna be like but they have prepped me like just in case that I need to give birth they have to, done the swab to check for that specific like bacteria infection that you um some pregnant woman get doing um labor well I don't know if it's doing labor, but they check for that. <sighs> they give me one dose of steroids to help the baby's lungs mature, just in case I do have her. The next one is in the next 24 hours that I can take it. Um, they just give me some pain because Tylenol to help my pain. It actually helped. And then I thought I was just gonna be in like the triage, triage, that's where I was, or the OB, but they put me 
in my own room here. Um, yeah. It's not, um, it's not labor and delivery, but I have my own room. And then once I speak to the, uh, sorry guys, I'm dozing off because I'm getting tired. Once I speak to the people, the specialists, <laughs> they're gonna be letting you know what exactly is going on. But yeah. I have just been out of it. I'm tired. This fucking is a lot. And I just hope everything goes well. Everything goes fine. And that nothing is wrong. So, so pray for me, guys. Yeah. The other thing about the seat up and the pilot that's Turner? I know. Who's the new on this side? Love or? It should be the core. Or love, not because she's level two. I don't know who wants to take her. I told them to figure it out. Soup. This is this is tea. They got me some crackers, and yeah, 
white rice. I think this is fish, yeah. With some potatoes. Hey you guys. So you guys know I give birth. The baby is <coughs> in the NICU. She is so pretty, you guys. And her name that I've had for her all along matches her because she's my little gift from God. Um, so yeah, um, I'll tell you guys the name soon. Um, what's the update? I'll give you guys a story time on how all of this unfolded. The doctors themselves can't explain what happened here, but um, so I'll sit and give you guys a good, good old story time. I'm trying so you guys know I breastfeed my kids for as long as I can. So I'm trying to get some milk going on. You guys know she came early, so it's not going to be the easiest thing to get milk because my body wasn't ready. But I am determined, so I'm going to get something. Um, <clears throat> Yesterday, I was able to get the cholesterol out, if, that, if that's the right the word. And today, I'm trying to see if I have milk. I mean, it's it's wet. I just don't know if anything's going in the bottle. But we're going to do this. They want me to pump every three hours for 20 minutes. I don't think that's enough. But I'm trying to stimulate my, my titties because, honestly, I remember my daughter was being in my breast every hour. So, I'm going to do it behind their backs every hour so it can happen faster um my c-section scar is healing properly i think honestly this morning i woke up screaming in pain so yesterday i had the baby on the 4th of september um it all happened so fast honestly i it just happened um, I still feel like I'm pregnant, but I'm not. I still would like to be pregnant with my child because, you know, nobody wants to have a baby, you know, that is premature, that's going to be with all these tubes. But they're starting to take up some of her tubes. They took up her breathing tube today. They told me, they just called me and told me that. So I'm happy about that. And then um, she's doing very good. She's a feisty one. She's a fighter. She's doing great. I have no doubt that my baby will be home with me um, as soon as she can. So, but I will be here almost every day to come see her um, when that is off because I'm not going to be able to do too much. I have to take it easy. He's going to come spend as much time as possible with her. And, um, yeah, he has to go back to work. Um, I'm going to do what I can do, the best that I can do. But he has to go back to work, unfortunately. So I'm going to, you know, have this time to relax and, and stuff. And I'm going to let my friends and, you know, the people that are here to help me as much as possible help me. And, yeah, but... um. We're going to definitely do what we need to do to make it as parents. Um, she's so beautiful. I love her. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's, it's different when you have to go through this. I would never have a C-section ever in my life because it is not fun. Um, so this morning they took me to, um, ultrasound so they could do an ultrasound of my, ar um, arteries, um, and, um, my liver. You guys don't know the story, but basically out of nowhere, I got super sick. My blood work was not matching any blood work that I've ever had done. Um, my liver was swollen kidney releasing too much protein 
my heart rate dropping my blood pressure as high it was on 170 as high as it could be um so yeah it was so much that they told me if i didn't come the time that i came to the er i came to the er at 11 30 p.m by before four o'clock they delivered my baby the next day 4 p.m cut me open and just deliver me because they just they had to give me some sterile shirt to try to like mature the baby's lungs and stuff nope they gave me one and that was all they could do because they didn't have enough time to wait so yeah but god is good when god is on your side he's on your side and everything happened um, my little miracle baby that is here with us will always have a story to tell she's a, a different one she's a special one both of my um all of my children are special but this one is just something's different about her <laughs> you know it so this um yeah I'm gonna try to upload for y'all while I'm in here because that's the only way I have to I'll be able to have footage and keep uploading is by uploading them while I'm here because um, I need space on my phone if I record every little thing I'm sorry the c-section couldn't be recorded we were just trying to out everything was rushed I came here looking like this look at my hair look at my hair nothing I didn't even take a shower. I still haven't showered. I just cleaned my boobs so I can um, pump. But I haven't even taken a shower. And I still can't really stand on my own to do everything. So I'm probably not going to shower until the nurse is able to help me shower. But I want to go see my baby. So I'm going to go. They're going to roll me over there soon. And I'm going to see her. But, um... From here on now, you guys are going to see a whole lot of preemie vlogs, a whole lot of me coming in and out of here. Um, my kids are anxious to see their baby sister, but we have to wait. She might have to spend a month to two months here. I'm hoping just a month. And yeah. Um, that's what happened, you guys. That's why I had the baby. I'm... I'm you know she's here and she's doing well oh my god all this pumping and that's all I got been pumping for like 20 minutes already I got a little itty bitty thing but I'm just doing this so that my breast could be stimulated enough and hopefully I take something over there today I'm gonna remember to so my nipples are already being cracked but that's the norm right so yeah so yeah i'm gonna remember to take this with me so that i can pump when i go over there so yeah i gotta wash them and take them with me but yeah that's what we got going on um i'm gonna eat some of these crackers i got right here so i don't know be fat yeah um, but a C-section, you guys know I give birth twice vaginally already. I would do vaginal any day over a C-section. You feel like you've been hit by a bus. You feel like um, your downstairs is leaving your body. You feel like, let me not go on, okay? I will give you the both sides because I've experienced both sides. So I'll give you both sides of, of it. You know, this is not so one-sided. I'm just pro natural birth instead of C-sections. Unless you must, because obviously I had to do it. And that's the way to save my life and it's done. But please, trust me. I would rather, much rather, push my baby up. Okay? Anyways, I'm just talking. So I'll see you guys in the next vlogs. The next few vlogs. I don't know if they're about to be exciting. Can you guys believe I have nothing for the baby? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So 
So the next few vlogs, you guys are gonna see me shop for her. You guys are gonna see me trying to set my house up to welcome my baby home. Um, our family is blessed. Um, I think um, I am um, hubby and I we have bonded differently this time around. We talk, we bonded over a baby. Um, you know how people say that the third baby can really injure a relationship. I feel like our third baby just brought us closer together. Um, I think, I don't think he realizes my strength this time, but I think he's, he was able to admit the strength that I have and how much my body handled and how much I did. So, um, which was very refreshing because, um, <laughs> this morning I was talking to him, I almost cried because I opened up about certain things that I have never told him about to him <sighs> but um yeah we're blessed um I love my family I love what I've created what we've created together is beautiful so I'll always pray to for God to keep my family together to keep us together for our children to see us grow old and happy together and when it's time to have a wedding we'll have a wedding you know, it's time to buy a house, we buy the house. Now it's time to look for a new car, hustle hard, and save up for a wedding. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys more, of course, in the next vlog. Hopefully, you guys don't keep seeing me look like this because, yeah. Anyways, I love y'all. Bye.